Welcome to Bike Wallet. What you're looking at is Ather's new scooter platform. It's called EL. And because this is the first prototype based on that platform, this is the EL01. Now, this platform is going to spawn as many as three new scooters. So you can see a sporty scooter, a maxi scooter, as well as a family oriented scooter. Now, this concept over here shows what is possible on that platform. So let me start first of all with what's underneath. It's got a new unibody frame is what Aether calls it. So where the 450X has got an aluminium frame and bolt-on parts, this scooter has got one uniform frame. Now, they can have different styles of scooters so they can change the shape of the subframe. If you want a sporty scooter, you can have a slightly raised rear end, a slightly shorter rear end as well. And or you can have a family scooter with a lot more uh, emphasis on space. Um, now, underpinning that frame is a new telescopic fork at the front and there'll be a monoshock at the rear that has a lot more travel than what you find on a 450X. Well, the 450X has got a monoshock. Uh, it has got a monoshock over here, but a lot more travel. And uh, also you have different wheel sizes. Now you have a 14 inch front wheel and a 12 inch rear wheel on this concept, but you could have a 14 inch front and a 14 inch rear play with different combinations. You can have a 12 inch front and a 12 inch rear. So depending on what the application is, this platform is quite modular. And as for the batteries, well, the battery sizes are gonna range between two kilowatt hours to five kilowatt hours, depending on obviously the variance. Coming to the motor, this is the first time ever that Aether has incorporated a swinger mounted motor uh, and not a frame mounted motor that you find on the 450X. So there's no annoying uh, sound coming from the uh, from the belt drive because this is a swinger mounted uh, motor. This is a brand new motor. We don't know the specs yet, but they will be out soon when the production scooters obviously hit the market. But apart from that, you're also looking at a lot more practicality. If you look at, uh, say, the design, now this looks a lot more conventional. It will appeal to a lot more people in your family. It looks a uh, lot less polarizing than say, than, say, something like an Aether Ritzta or even a 450X that's quite sporty. So a design that a lot of people in the family will like will also make it more easier for people to accept the scooter, especially in families where you have one scooter for a lot of members in the family. Uh, let's talk about the design actually. It's quite uh, quite a likable design, I would say. This is again not a production scooter, but rather a prototype in an advanced stage. But still you can see some nice Aether design elements like the LED DRL over here. The Aether logo is illuminated. You have uh, a very conventionally mounted LED headlight over here. Uh, even the crease lines all around are very nicely integrated and neatly executed. The LED tail light bar over here is also quite nicely integrated, but it is a little reminiscent of the IQ 110, the TVS IQ 110. But uh, on the whole, this is a very conventional design, as I said, and a lot of people will like it. If you also look at the seat height, now I can't sit on the scooter, we are not allowed to. But I'm told that the seat height is roughly 790 mm, that makes it quite a lot more accessible. And Aether says that they will obviously ensure that the ergonomics are spot on. So uh, while a seat height is 790 mm, the floorboard seems quite high, but they will obviously optimize the riding position to focus on comfort. Uh, when you come and look at the features, again, it has got all LED lights. It has got a TFT display over here. Now, this particular scooter here has got buttons, but you can also have a touchscreen display. That's a option that Aether will obviously think about. Now, scooters that are based on the EL concept are set to come out from next year onwards during the festive season. Another interesting feature is the inclusion of ADAS, and uh, that is another good safety feature that Aether is thinking about. And then you also have electronic uh, brakes over here. It's sort of like a more advanced version of CBS, but you can also incorporate ABS, and that is something that Aether might probably think about or if the government mandates it. So on the whole, I think it Aether's future looks quite promising. This is a very, very different platform. New motor, new suspension. They're again targeting a much wider audience now. We've seen how the how the customers have reacted to the Ritzta. It is a very family-oriented scooter, unlike the sporty 450X series. And now you have a new platform that's going to spawn three different scooters. So they're targeting a much wider base. Um, Prices, again, they say are going to be very competitive, but there's no word on where the prices will start at and when they'll go up to. But knowing Aether, they're going to cram it in with a lot of features. The production will be good. The quality levels will be very good. And that is something that you can expect from an Aether. So let us know what you think about the new EL platform. Let us know what you think about uh, Aether's new, uh, new features. And lastly, don't forget to 
like, share and subscribe this video.